Today we will be making an animation in Google Earth and you can use those for your YouTube projects or to animate any kind of map. And those are the exact steps that we have to follow today. So let's just jump directly in this video. So the first thing we have to create the KML files in uh, Google Earth. And basically let's just draw here a section of the road which we will further animate. And uh, also we can uh, adjust this section. We can choose the width of the road pad. You can set it to eight pixels and choose the color, but maybe for, yeah, for it will be okay. You can choose whatever you like. And next step, we have to save this file as a KML file. You go to file and export as KML and the file will be saved on your computer. Now next step we will go to Google Earth Studio and we will create a new project and feel free to name it as you wish. Press start. And the first step we will have to import our KML files. So go to overlays and select the file that you previously created. And now this uh, overlay will appear on the earth representation. Here is this blue line which we previously created. Uh, here you also have different options how you want your map to be. You can choose to have a really simple representation or maybe you want to have all details available to be presented in the screen. I will choose second option because I don't really need all the details. Now I want my animation to start with a nice zoom. And we will work now with the keyframes. So I will select the position which I like and in the first frames on the timeline I will press all the keyframes. Now next you move the timeline and adjust the position of the camera for the next frames. You make sure to select the angle, the tilt that you want and when you are happy again press the keyframes. And now you can see the map is start to move. And basically the next step which you have to do you just have to add more keyframes and adjust the position of the camera. You can again move forward, you can adjust the angle, the view of the camera and so on. And you can just basically walk through all this section and step by step adjust and add more and more keyframes. Now when I'm happy with the final result, we have to render our project and here we have two options to render it as an image sequence or a video. And we will go with the first option, I'll explain further why. And now you just select the image sequence, you also should uh, choose the folder where you want your project to be saved and press start. And the program will start to render your project frame by frame. Now why I suggest uh, to use this option rather than rendering as a video is because final result of video rendering is not so smooth and also you will miss a lot of names and details from the maps which will not be rendered in final video. Now we have our sequence of images and we have to create final video and we go to Adobe Media Encoder and go to the folder where your sequence was saved and make sure you select just first frame and click on open. It will automatically create a new queue for processing and make sure you have select the right codec H264 
so the final result will be smoother. And also you can choose the folder where you want your project to be saved. After you check that you have all the settings done correctly, you can go and press on the green play button and system will start processing your video. Now here is the final result, it looks really great and feel free to experiment with different angles, different animations, speed of keyframing and yeah, see each other in next tutorials.